join the rain. Wash my lips of the stain. I can see the first log just around the corner. We're in a bigger couple today, aren't we? We're in a bigger couple and we're going to stop in Burberry and pick up some food. Let's um, see what, well, we might not stop in Burberry, we'll see whether we like that. Yeah, into Banbury. Um, we've never shopped for provisions before, have we? Not really. Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring up the tomatoes. Um, so I think there's a big Tesco there if we, if we can work out how to get to it. Um, and then into Banbury. We'll certainly stop there and have a wander around and might stay there. We will see what unfolds. M40 and about half a mile that way is Junction 11 which is where we come off when we're driving up to the marina and uh, how far does it take us to get uh, to the marina from there? Half an hour. Half an hour. How long has it taken us to get here by boat? Three and a half days. Uh, you can see why the canals went out of business, really. Right, the next lock's just around the corner, I think. Get myself organised for that. So many authors. These paddles just are not getting any easier. I'm going to render assistance. Banbury. It's not too bad, Banbury. I quite like it. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I wasn't desperate. The mooring, I didn't moor in the best place. I don't think we had this constant drain last night. I think it was a big. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's just behind that shed there. Uh, you might just see the chimneys coming into view, isn't it? Um, but I think it was like one of these industrial bakeries. But the weirdest thing, I saw, I walked the dogs first thing this morning and all I could smell was hot cross buns. I'm never hungry in the morning and after about 20 minutes I was having starving. Anyway, there you go. That was the bakery. And now we're just around the corner coming into um, all the bits that many people will recognise that we've never seen. Tooley's Bait Yard. Our first lift bridge. Which it's the pedestrian lift bridge. So that's not too bad. Um, but there was a boat just going in front of us, so we might not even have to do it. <laughs> They'd have put it down, surely. I think they're just around the corner. Anyway, so we'll try and get a few shots of that as we go past.
So this is a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, it's the first time we've ever motored through a built-up area. Yeah. Car parks. A car park on the left. And on the right. And the car... Oh yeah, multi story on the right. And the castle keys, was it? A shopping outlet or something. We were saying yesterday when we wandered down here that we thought that they'd made a bit of an area redeveloping this place. Not redeveloping it, redeveloping it like this. Yes. Yeah. They could have had lovely little cafes and stuff on the canal down here. Got artisan gift shops, gorgeous. But it's the it's the back end of the shops and this shopping outlet, so it's the sort of bins and stuff like that that are out on the on the side of the canal. Anyway, just thought I'd say that. So finally our first lift bridge. Which operates off a, a windlass, so the sun's gone off to do that. <laughs> sun's having to put the bridge back down again. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was laughing, but I kind of lost concentration on where the camera was pointing. Right, here we go, second attempt. You're right. And straight into a lock. Right, just coming down through the lock in Banbury. Them. So that's the Castle King shopping centre. Just back round the corner to the boatyard. The water levels are really low here, um, we're thinking there's a lock about a half a mile up the canal, isn't there? Yeah, it's about a mile and a half. I think somebody's probably left the paddles open. Some of the boats moored here are virtually, virtually run aground, haven't they? Yeah, someone just went past us and said it was really shallow in this bit. I think this must be one of the deepest logs we've done so far. Nine foot six, I think. So King Sutton lot. This one's even a bit deeper, about ten and a half foot, this one. And then I think we've got Summerton Deep Lock later on today, which is about 12 foot deep. These gaps seem to get narrower and narrower. Slightly strangely shaped, which means that the wind's blown us across to one side. I love things like this. There must be a very good reason this is shaped this way. And as yet, I don't know what it is. Just beautiful here, but the wind has really picked up. Okay. 
okay. Oh uh, yeah, if you wanted a cut outside property. So there's that gorgeous little cottage, which I've just realised we're in Somerton Deep Lock. Hello Willie Bird. So I guess we'll descend into the into the depths. Twelve feet, I think. That's us for the day. We didn't quite make it to Upper Hayford, which was the plan, but there's not that many good mooring spots that we've seen so far, so we saw this one and we thought we'd call it a day. Right, well this isn't great, so um, might require a bit of investigation anyway. It's a bit of an alarm going on coming from the fuel guard. So, I wonder if we've got a bit of water in there. Let's find out. Well, just drain some fuel out of there, into the bottom there. We'll see what that looks like in a minute when it's settled out. But that immediately appears to have turned the alarm off. Right. Now that that has settled down a bit, I'll see if I can get this to show. So there's fuel in the top and water in the bottom. 